Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you guys about using functions with lists in Python. In Python, a list is one of the most important structures where we can store our information. A list basically allows you to take a bunch of different values and organize them and store them inside of their own little list structure. So down here in my program, you can see I have two lists. I have a list of lucky numbers, and this is just a bunch of different numbers. And then I have a list of friends. So this could be like a list of somebody's friends. And it's basically just a bunch of strings with names in them. So these two lists are storing a bunch of different values. And what makes lists awesome is not only could I store like this many values, I mean, I could store hundreds or thousands or millions of values. And when you're working with a lot of data and a lot of information in Python, these lists are invaluable. So because lists are so important, there's actually a bunch of different functions that we can use with lists. And those functions allow us to do things like modify the lists and get information about the lists. So in this tutorial, I just wanna show you a bunch of those functions. We're gonna talk about some of the most common and the most popular functions that you would use on lists to make them more powerful and make them more easy to use. So the first thing we can do is obviously just print out a list. So down here, I'm printing out this friends list. And when I run, and when I run my program, you see down here, we're just printing out all the elements in the list. So it's always good to be able to print out all the elements inside of a list. But there's a lot of other functions that we can use. So one function is called the extend function. And the extend function will basically allow you to take a list and append another list onto the end of it. So I could say like, friends.extend, and inside of these parentheses, I can pass in the list that I want to add on to the friends list. So I could say like, lucky numbers. And now when I print out this friends list, not only is it gonna have all the elements in the friends list, it's also gonna have all the elements inside the lucky numbers list. You can see down here, we have all of our friends, and then we also have the numbers over here. So that's a really easy way to essentially just like add two lists together. We can also just add individual elements onto a list. So I could come down here and I could say friends.append, and this will actually allow me to append another item onto the end of this list. So over here, I could just add another name. So we could say Creed, for example, and now I'm like adding another friend onto the end of this list. So when I run the program, in addition to having the original items that were in the list up here, we also have this additional item at the end. And that append function is always gonna add the item onto the end of the list. But let's say that you wanted to add an item into the middle of the list, so like right here or right here. There's another list function called insert. And insert is gonna take two parameters. The first parameter is gonna be the index where you wanna insert the item. So why don't we insert it here at index position one? I'm just gonna say one and then I'm gonna type in the name of the element that I want to add. So we can just say like Kelly. And now at index position one, we're gonna have the value Kelly and all of these other values are gonna get pushed up. They're gonna get pushed to the right um, one index position. So now when I run the program, you can see we have Kevin, this new element Kelly, and then all the other elements have been pushed off to the right. We can also remove elements. So for example, let's say I wanted to remove this gym value. All I have to do is just say friends.remove and I can just type in whatever element I want to remove. So I wanna remove this gym element. And so now when we run the program, gym is gonna be gone from the list and we just have these four guys left. You can also remove all of the elements from the list. So if I just wanted to completely like reset the list and get rid of everything, I could just say friends.clear and this is gonna give us an empty list. So it'll get rid of every single element inside the list. There's also another really cool method which is called pop and you can just type out pop like that. And basically what pop's gonna do is it's gonna pop an item off of this list. So when I click the play button, you'll see here that we're left with Kevin, Karen, Jim, and Oscar. So we basically got rid of the last element inside the list, and that's what pop does. It pops an element off of the list. So it basically removes the last element in the list. So we have our list, but let's say that we wanted to figure out if a certain element was in this list, right? If a certain value is in here. So let's say I wanted to check to see if my friend Kevin was in this list. Well, I could say friends.index, 
and in here I can just pass a value. So I could say like Kevin, and this is going to tell me the index of Kevin. So it'll tell me if Kevin's in the list. So now when I click play, you can see down here it says zero. If I was to say like Oscar in here, for example, now it'll give me the index of Oscar. So that's it three. But if I put a name that wasn't in here, so like if I put Mike, that's not in the list. And so now we're going to get back an error because it says Mike is not in the list. So that's an easy way to figure out if a specific element is inside of the list. And if it is, then you'll know what index it's at. You can also count the number of similar elements in the list. So I'm actually going to come down here, copy this gym element, and we'll add another gym element into here. So I could come down here and I could say friends.count and we'll pass in gym. And this will tell me how many times the value gym shows up inside of this list. So it should say two, which it does down there because we have two values with the text gym. And so we have all these values. We could also sort this list. So I could come over here and I could say friends.sort. And what this will do is it'll sort the list in ascending order. So we have a bunch of text here and you'll see what it does. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to put it in alphabetical order. So you can see we have J, K, O, and T. So the list went from being just random order, like whatever we had up here to now it's in alphabetical order. And that's also going to work for lucky numbers. So I could say like lucky numbers dot sort, and then we'll print out lucky numbers. And these should now be in ascending order which I'm realizing they already are up here, but if I was to take this 42 and put it down here, now it will figure everything out and put it in ascending order anyway. We can also reverse a list. So if I wanted, I could reverse this lucky numbers list. I could say lucky numbers dot reverse. And now when we print it out, instead of being 42, 8, 15, 16, 23, it's gonna be 23, 16, 15, 8, 42. So it's basically just reverse the order of the list. And finally, there's one more list function I wanna show you guys, which is copy. So I could actually create another list and I could make it as a copy. So I could say like friends two, and we could set this equal to friends.copy. And now friends two is gonna have all the same attributes as friends. Cause it's basically just like, copied, it, it basically took a copy of that friends list. So you can see it's the same exact thing. And copying lists can come in handy in a lot of different situations. So those are just some basic list functions and just to kind of like, you know, get your feet wet in working with lists. Obviously like the more you work with them, the more you practice using these different functions, the more comfortable you're gonna get. But that's just kind of like a basic overview of what you can do. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.